you like quality, holla at the, uh, uh, no skinny pops, you want one, yeah, we know. Yo, what's up guys? CSB Chris here. I just left the airport, Southwest Cargo. We just picked up this Gold Rush drop. We're on our way to put this in our girl uh, Peaches. But before we do that, we're gonna, um, when we pull up to the house here, we're gonna, we're gonna check the semen on a microscope, make sure it's alive and viable, good motility. And uh, we'll let you know when we get to that point. Also got his Frenchie here, Chloe, man. Tap in with my boy Izzy. Y'all want them Frenchies? We're gonna have them coming soon. So she's a little hyper, so we're gonna put her down. But we got Peaches <laughs> right here, man. Hell of a female right here. She's a rock star daughter. Uh, we got her from uh, former BRC judge Andre Poe. And uh, yeah, man, she's turning out to be a nice female, man. And guess what? I don't know if y'all seen the last YouTube video where I did the live breeding AI, but this time I'm gonna show y'all how we do it when we get sick. So we just had Gold Rush shipped in. Uh, shout out to Sam Liam. You know, uh, he just he just sent this Gold Rush drop for the DM. Uh, if y'all wanna, wanna see the pups, man, when they're born, y'all can come and see them. Uh, yeah, man, that's what we got going here. So we're about to unwrap this semen here and I'm gonna show y'all how we do this thing. And uh, yeah, let's get it, man. All right, y'all, hopefully y'all watched my last AI video when we did the live breeding this time. We're gonna be doing a breeding with shipped semen, chilled semen. So this is the package that it comes in. This is the package that it comes in. And then I'm about to show y'all what it looks like when we unpackage it. I already cut all the tape and stuff. Usually tape the, uh, tape the lid on there, that way it don't rock loose uh, during shipping. And this right here is an ice pack. This is to keep it cool. And right here is a little divider just to keep it from uh, getting too cold. And that right there is Gold Rush's finest. So see how it's positioned in there with the lid right up next to the side right there? That's how people do it to keep that lid from coming off or uh, coming on loose. And then just to, just to make absolutely sure the lid doesn't come off, they put tape around the, around the lid. That way that there's no way that that semen could leak out of there. And as y'all see, we got the microscope set up. Uh, we're getting ready to check out this semen to make sure it's viable. Um, I don't know if y'all can see in there. I'm going to try to get a, a good shot where y'all can see in there. There you go. We don't got the one with the screen. Sorry, y'all. But yeah, that's... Uh, right now, we just got a test um, slide on there. Just a test. So... Yeah, what you want to do is basically you don't want to shake this. You just want to hold it in your hand and get it warm, get it up to room temperature. Sometimes I rock it back and forth like this, but you don't want to shake it. Just rock it back and forth and you want to get that up to room temperature. That way you don't shock the semen when you put it in your female. So if y'all do it step by step like this, y'all should have a pretty high rate of success with your breedings. Uh, I'm going uh, I'm to let this semen warm up to room temperature, and then I'm going to get back with y'all when we're doing the AI. All right, so we got the semen here. We brought it up to room temperature. Like I said, do not shake this. If you want to, you could rock it back and forth like this just to mix it up. But don't shake it because you'll, uh, you'll damage the semen, the, the, more, the motility. And uh, you could break off heads and tails and stuff like that. You don't want to do that, so... So it's uh, room temperature now. I'm gonna show y'all how to load up this microscope. So you don't need much at all to put on this slide. All you need is a little drip. So I'm gonna use the end of this AI rod right here. Get a little drip of semen on there. And I'm gonna touch it right on this slide. Might have to get it down in there a little more. I might even have to suck something up in there. That's enough to be able to test it. Put the lid back on this. We don't 
We have any spillage. We got the bottom slide, that's where the semen goes on, and then we're gonna put this top slide on right here. Make sure you don't touch it and get fingerprints or anything on it. Put the top slide right over top of it. And then we're gonna stick it right in here. And we're gonna check it out, see what it's looking like. on it it's kind of hard it was kind of hard to zoom in and focus on the semen to where you guys could see it through my camera but uh i will vouch and say the semen was viable uh we went ahead and did about to do this ai uh so just stay tuned Right here, she's ready. Uh, I ain't gonna break down my AI kit because I already showed y'all that in my last video. But uh, these syringes, these AI rods, and uh, rubber gloves, all that kind of stuff you can order on Amazon for pretty cheap. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing going. This is my first time doing an AI on peaches, so what I like to do is feel them up first and see how they react to me. Some females will get a little wiggly and jumpy, but she seems to be doing pretty good right now. So. Good girl. Good girl. Peachy. I know, mama. Good girl. If you don't like that, what's the matter? Uh-oh, you ripped my glove. Slap another glove on real quick, y'all. Usually double layer because we're gonna defend them. Peachy. Come here. Get down, mama. Uh-oh. Peachy. She takes a good point. Mm-hmm. Finger, what you want to do is go up. Yeah, you're gonna hold her tight. Sorry, right, mom. You're gonna go up, then you're gonna feel like almost a second hole in there. And you're just gonna put it in that second hole. It takes a couple tries sometimes. She's being a little wiggly. Come on, made a little wiggling for us, that's all right. It happens. Okay. 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 Sorry, Mama. I got you. It's all right, man. Usually it goes a little easier than this, but... <laughs> She's a little hyper because I just got here. And she loves visitors. Come on. You're okay. Come on. Come on. She's like, hey, man, what's going on back there? Okay. Okay. 
Sorry, mama. Oh, come here. Look at me. That's all right, mama. We're showing y'all the real right here, man. <laughs> Usually when I get on here and do an AI video, it's real easy, but she's being a little wiggly, man. So I'm just, this is the real right here, man. I'm just showing y'all, you know, the real process. Showing y'all the real process right now. Good girl, stay, stay. Yeah, good girl. There's a second hole up in there, which I'm in right now. Go ahead and shoot that semen in there real slow. Good girl. Yeah. Make sure she doesn't wiggle away. And we're just gonna put couple cc's of air in there to, to clear the AI rod out. Get all that semen up in there. All right, now it's all in there. And I'm gonna hold her up like this for a second. That way, gravity is working in my favor. So put the semen in there, hold her butt up like this. And gravity is just gonna draw that semen down right into where it needs to be at. Sometimes I take my thumb and I just kind of rub it right there and stimulate her. And that uh, makes her clench around my finger. And that kind of helps draw that semen up in there too. Like I said, you guys, this, uh, this stuff was pretty expensive, so we don't want to waste any of it. I'm gonna hold her up here like this for about 10, 15 minutes. And then after, uh, after about 10 minutes, I'm gonna put her in the cage and uh, try not to let her run around too much or squirt any of it out. Let her sit in the cage for about 30 minutes to an hour. That way she doesn't uh, get wiggly and squirt it out or try to pee it out or anything. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, be sure to follow us. Uh, we'll hit y'all up in about 30 days with the confirmation. And then in about 60 days, we should have some puppies on the ground, man. These are gonna be some amazing puppies. Um, <clears throat> Gold Rush is a hell of a son. He's a, he's a golden child son. And uh, he's three times grim. So we're putting three times grim in this girl right here, which is gonna be, in my opinion, I feel like it's gonna hit pretty hard, man. Just judging off of her. You know, like I said, you always wanna pick a stud out that compliments your female. Peachy has a little bit of an underbite, but we checked with uh, Gold Rush, his bite is clean. So, and that's pretty much the only thing we need to correct on this girl, man. She's all <laughs> solid. I mean, you can see straight fronts, nice top line. <clears throat> nice size, nice size muzzle. She's not cowhawk. She's not easty westy. It's all right. Man. All right, she's getting worked up. So hit us up, y'all. Be sure to follow me, Cornerstone underscore Bully, on Instagram. Peachy. And also follow my YouTube channel, Cornerstone Bullies. Peace. Female sit in the cage for about 30 minutes, maybe an hour, just to be sure. Make sure she ain't leaking none of that semen out. Yeah, mama. You gonna be a mama. Fingers crossed. Yes, sir. Gonna be a mama. Izzy, I appreciate you, man. No for problem. everything, man, for sure. And Jasmine, I appreciate you. Yeah. If y'all wanna uh Y'all are interested in this in this breeding right here, this badass female right here, man. Let me know. Hit the DM. Be looking out for that uh, confirmation. We'll have that coming for you soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Like I said, and um, yeah, man. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Cornerstone underscore Bullies, or you can follow. Uh, Y'all know I own Earl too. He's closed right now, but y'all can follow me at his page too, Earl two underscores the or no earl underscore the two underscore Earl. and big shout out to my guy theo man transformation kennels y'all know i y'all know i just started my own kennel man so <clears throat> csv i'm pushing it cornerstone bullies you know we're all still a team here it's all still you know camaraderie we all link up you know we're all working together man so we're just we're just all in our own position to win you know so that's what it's about, man. Get, get, 
putting everybody in position to start their own team and start their own brand and, you know, something to be proud of. So, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing, man. CSB Chris, Caliente line right here. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Until the next video, y'all. Look at them straight fronts. That's how you want them fronts to look, man. Straight fronts. All right, y'all. So we got a little bonus content here for you, man. My boy Izzy just informed me that he had the gliders. So, uh, Izzy, tell me a little bit about this one. What's his name? What's his uh, DNA makeup uh, or anything? Like so that? This one right here is a female. And it's natural ordinary sugar glider, as you can see. This is a albino cremino. Very kind of hard to rare to find. It's not your average normal sugar glider. She is a female. Um, hmm. They make very good little pets. They or pets. Uh -oh. They can bond to you, jump as you can see. It just jumps. She's a jumper, and she's very friendly. You know, you can pet her, pick her up, just like a hamster. Way cooler than a hamster, cooler than a ferret. You know. So are Every these the ones pet. that can like that you see on the videos jumping out of trees oh, and yeah. flying? Yeah, you go like that, and then maybe somebody will open up their hand and might jump to it. I'm not sure. Yeah, if we had a perch up there or something, it would have Let's see if she'll okay. jump down. Let's see if she'll hop down. Oh, she probably don't know your scent. Oh, that's another thing, too. Oh, yeah. If they don't know your scent, they will probably more likely not want to mess with you. Okay, yeah, so. But other than that, they, yeah, they're great preps to have. Yeah, man, I just wanted to show y'all this, man. This is cool as hell right here. Oh, Little okay. albino sugar glider. Little bonus content for y'all, man. It's always dogs. We always got these dogs on the channel, man. But tap in. My boy's got the gliders. Like a little monkey. <laughs> Not too bad. Like a little squirrel monkey. Yep. Dang, yep. yep. And they just live in cages like this. Yep. You know, two they like to hang out in the. Uh... So there's two of them in here. They're sleeping. Back there in that little pouch. Back there, they go down and do whatever they That do. little pouch right there. <laughs> that's where they're back there sleeping. They got the wheel right there to run on. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Tap in. Sugar glider. Get a little up close on her. Albino sugar glider. What? what what's, what's the name? Albino cremino. Albino cremino. Yep. Yeah, you can see them red eyes on there. Oh, she's trying to go out the camera. That's fun. That's cool as hell, man. Hell yeah. Y'all tap in, man. CSB, we're working. We might get some sugar gliders <laughs> in, man. I don't know. I don't know. What y'all think? Drop it in the comment, man. Y'all think I should get a sugar glider? Yes, sir, man. Uh, man, it's been a hell of a time, man. I had a good time over here with y'all doing this free man. And uh, yeah, man, we're, we're just, we're working, man. If you don't see me on my page, if I ain't making no noise, don't think we ain't working. We're always working. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. I'm out of here, man. Let's get it.